While the Mets are playing the Cubs, the lights go out at Shea and everywhere else in New York City during the gray blackout of 1977. Mets, Cubs, listening to it, and the broadcast is starting to fade out. We're listening on the radio. And I thought, wow, something's wrong with our house. And then you see something's wrong with our block. All of a sudden, I could hear this, ooh. And the lights went out, boom. And it was totally black. And then you turn on a transistor radio and you realize the Met game isn't there. Well, that's not the transistor radio. That was a crazy, crazy time in New York City. The first, like, summer blackout where you say, wow, this could be fun or this could be dangerous. What do you do? You know, what, it's, it's a snapshot in time. We used to go up there once in a while and sip a beer. And uh, all of a sudden, I thought maybe I've had too many beers because... New York City just disappeared. Everybody kind of floated around New York. A little lost like the Mets. The Cubs are in town. Let's go out and find a light and have a couple cocktails. And mayhem ensued in the streets of New York. It was a terrible night. You know, we thought it was related uh, at the time to uh, what was going on in the city and uh, all of this creepy stuff that was happening. People thought... When the lights went out, they thought it was Christmas time. And then approximately 2,000 people looked to their neighbor's beer and took a sip out of it, and no one ever noticed. So each person got a little bit more buzz during that blackout. That's one thing that they don't talk about. I know of people who were at the game, and they took, it almost took them like six, seven hours, eight hours to get home because of, it was just chaos in the streets. So what they had us do was go into these areas in Bushwick, East Harlem, South Bronx, and all we were there for was the looters were so crazy that what we used to do, we didn't even lock them up. We'd we wait for them to come out and bang them in the leg, and you'd see them drop the stuff and limp away. I remember there was a Cadillac store by my house, and someone broke in hot wired all the cars, and you see the Armada of Cadillacs going down the street, and then you see another guy who broke into the meat market and was running down the street in 98 degree night with a, uh, a side of beef on his back. So it was actually best for both teams that the lights should have stayed out in perpetuity for both those teams.